almost from the very beginning, there was an executive order that um, stopped uh, all incoming uh, jail transfers uh, into the department. Uh, most other states around the country did the same thing uh, for that very reason. We didn't want to start introducing it into our uh, into our prisons. And so that shut down for uh, several months early on during the pandemic. Uh, and then that, that order gave our director the ability for us to send our staff to each and every, all of the county jails around the state that, that wished uh, to participate, uh, that we would go and inspect them, uh, learn their process, approve of it, uh, make sure they had a testing regimen in place, and then they could start sending us uh, prisoners. So that started to happen. We're starting to have more uh, new prisoners come in. Again, they're tested before they come to us. Uh, we isolate them and also give them a rapid test uh, before they're brought into the, the, the larger uh, prison uh, intake center. Um, when they're paroled, um, we're doing weekly testing at almost all of our facilities. So uh, anytime a prisoner is moved, transferred, has to go to court, has to go to the hospital, has to go to a doctor's appointment. Uh, they're being tested before they leave, making sure that they're negative. When they come back, uh, again, they're being isolated until we can make sure that they didn't come in contact with anyone. Uh, so we're being very careful there. And then for our staff, you know, from the very beginning uh, of this pandemic, going back to March, our staff have had to undergo um, screenings when they come in, uh, temperature checks, uh, and if they feel, uh, you know, sick, they, have, they, they, they need to stay home. Uh, if they do end up testing positive or they're a close contact of a, either a staff or a prisoner positive, uh, they have to go home and uh, self-quarantine. Uh, we have some new protocols in place that are allowing some staff to come back a little bit sooner. Uh, but there's also a uh, Department of Health and Human Services public uh, emergency health order uh, that mandates that we have to test all of our staff once a week uh, at every, any any prison where there is at least one uh, prisoner or one staff member who's positive. Uh, and so right now we're doing upwards of about 30,000 tests uh, every week uh, in our department. We've done more than 200,000 tests total since the beginning of this pandemic. About 3% of the state's entire testing that's being done uh, across the entire state has been uh, at the Department of Corrections. So we're testing a lot and doing everything we can to keep the virus out. And then when it gets in, doing everything we can to mitigate that cohort individuals and stop the spread.